Hi students, welcome back to Chakravarti e classroom. Today we are going to discuss two questions from time and work chapter. Actually these two questions uh, were part of our doubt clarification sessions only. One of our students have sent these questions and we have not changed even the numbers also. But one thing I would like to tell you students, this type of questions used to be asked in SSC exams previously, staff selection commission, even in uh, RRB exams also they used to ask the questions. But nowadays they have increased the standard but to attempt that type of questions, that standard questions uh, nowadays how they are giving, you must have understanding of this type of questions. For that reason, I am explaining these questions again on YouTube so that not only our students but uh, other students who are following us on YouTube may be benefited. Okay, right. Let's start the questions here. Actually, these two are very simple questions. The first question is here. The second one is here. This is the first question and uh, this is the second one you please make a note of that or simply take a screenshot and try to do it by yourself after that i'll explain you in the simplest way okay right first take the first question i'm going for the first one ah a takes 27 days more to complete a work than the time taken by a and b together then b takes three days more to complete the same work alone than the time taken by a and b together in how many days a alone can complete the work. See students, while reading this one, it seems that the question is very difficult because the question framing is like this. If you know the methodology, if you know the basics and if you can apply the shortcuts of our previous videos in our regular course, the basic videos, you can do this question in a maximum of 30 seconds. 30 seconds is the maximum time. Okay. I'll tell you the technique how to do this one. Uh, a takes 27 days more to complete a work than uh, the time taken by A and B together. Have you understood this one? A takes uh, how many days more? 27 days more than to complete a work uh, when compared to the time taken by A and B together. That means if A and B takes uh, X days for example to complete the work, how many days must be taken by A according to the statement? Very simple that is X plus 27 because A takes 27 more days. Okay. Similarly, they have given one more uh, clue about B. B takes three days more than to, more to complete the same work alone than the time taken by A and B together. A and B already X days. Then B must take X plus 3. This is what exactly they have given. See students, somehow if we are able to find out the value of x, then finding out a alone can do in how many days or b alone can do in how many days is a cake swap for us, isn't it? Actually, there is a technique for this one. In our algebra classes, I have given that one in the basic classes and even in the time and work basic classes also. Whenever you get the condition like this, remember, Listen very carefully, particularly the beginners. I'll give you the shortcut after that. Of course, I'll just introduce you to the uh, Lindy method as well, ma pure mathematical method. Okay. Now here, the shortcut is very simple. Always, this is applicable for all the questions which are of this format. Okay. I repeat this one. This shortcut is applicable for all the questions which are of this format. So, straight away, you can find out the value of x like this x square is equal to x square is equal to 27 into 3 that's it simple shortcut you remember this is applicable for all the questions of this format now finding out x is very simple x is equal to under root 27 into 360 plus that is 21 81 under root 81 that's nothing but now here x value is 9 and finding out in how many days with what they have asked here a alone whether it is a alone or b alone that is same. So simply here a alone can do this one in 27 plus 9 days that's it because x value is 9. If it is b's case that is x plus 3 9 plus 3 this is the shortcut. See tell me students uh, how much time would you be taking for this question not more than 30 seconds isn't it provided if you know the shortcut all right but if you go by the mathematical way of doing this one i'll show you here 
सिंपल वन इवन इन द मैथमेटिकल वी ऑल्सो प्योर मैथमेटिकल वी ऑल्सो यूजिंग एलजीब्रा दैट सिंपल वन बिकॉज हियर दे हैव गिवन ए एंड बी कैन डू द वर्क इन एक्स डेज ए कैन डू इन एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन बी इन एक्स प्लस थ्री मेक एन इक्वेशन हियर इफ यू टेक वन डे वर्क ऑफ ए दैट इज वन बाई एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन प्लस वन डे वर्क ऑफ बी इज वन बाई एक्स प्लस थ्री this must be equal to one day work of a and b together so a and b together is 1 by x one day's work we just solve the equation it's very simple take the lcm go for the cross multiplication you will get x square is equal to again 81 x is equal to 9 but in a competitive exam where cut throat competition is there and you are running with the time in that case i suggest you not to go for this method okay always go by the shortcut i hope this is clear for all of you this is the application of shortcut i have already explained this one in the basic classes of time and work chapter okay now using the same shortcut you try to do the second question second question more or less by and large the same but a little extension is there first you pause the video here and try to do it by yourself after that resume the video even this question can be done within 30 seconds okay first read the question properly a takes 5 days more than b and 9 days more than c to complete a work simple statement right comparison among a b and c a takes 5 days more than b and 9 days more than c that is one statement then if a and b can complete the same work in same time in which c alone can complete it in how many days a alone can complete the same work simple question the same thing only thing is that only one can one clue has been added that is good for us only okay first take the second one here if a and b can complete the same work in the same time actually this article should be there okay in the same time a and b can complete the work in the same time in which c alone can complete it what do you mean by this one here simple suppose if c takes x days listen carefully students even we are going to solve this question also with the previous technique according to the second statement a and b can complete the same work in the same time in which c alone can complete it that means if c takes x days to complete the work a and b together must be taking the same time that is x days only this is one statement and the previous statement you see a takes 5 days more than b and 9 days more than c that means if you talk about a's individual time and b's individual time a takes 9 days more than c already we have taken that c takes x days then a must take x plus 9 days simple now a takes 9 days more than c and the same person a takes 5 days more than b that means b takes 9 minus 5 that is 4 x plus 4 days now you see the question has come to the same format leaving c alone just keep c aside now it has come to the same format now i am going to use the same technique what's the format here a and b can do the work in x days a takes x plus 9 days b takes x plus 4 days finding out x is very simple same technique x square is equal to this is 9 into 4 simple or x is equal to under root 9 into 4 or x is equal to 6 simple now when x is equal to 6 what's the question question is based on whom a only that's it it's not based on c but still still we can say that a can do the work in 6 plus 9 days then b can do the work in 6 plus 4 days and c must do the work in x days same 6 days whatever the question may be you just try to complete the question and then hope this is clear for all of you a simple question right a simple technique rather i can say provided provided if you know the basics these questions are simple if not if not you cannot you cannot do the questions in the examination within the 
stipulated time so for that reason students i request all of you or i advise all of you to learn the basics first in a proper way after that only you just go for application of basics so shortcuts when shortcuts come into picture while applying the basics you can go for the shortcuts don't relay merely on the shortcuts you will be caught in the examination because nowadays uh, the examiner has become more intelligent than us isn't it so they are giving questions in a very twisty way for that reason i again advise you to learn the basics in a proper way thank you so much students